And just to let you look at it in a slightly more graphic way, which in some ways is the map I've got behind me too, <clears throat> if you look at that kind of, I don't know, um, mobby color that is Germany, that's Germany after the Treaty of Versailles. Again, let's walk through what's done. That area between Germany and Belgium and Luxembourg, the Rhineland, occupied. After that, you go down to Austria with annexation, which then makes that area of Czechoslovakia or modern-day Czech Republic seem like it just naturally fits in there. You go into the Sudetenland, which is the ring around where it says Czech. Then you take the area, you, the Nazi party, takes the area of the Czech Republic. Um, then it is a simple move to annex Slovakia and bits of Hungary, and eventually then move troops into Poland, which will be partitioned with the Soviet Union. Germany has, in the course of about three years, doubled the territory it controls, which leads to the question, especially knowing that they have allied with Italy, that has a bit of a quasi-empire throughout Albania and then potentially in Northern Africa, what's going to happen next and what should potential allies do in response.